All right, so I'm taping this on my phone. The 360 camera is in repair. So here is uh, the Royal King hot plate, and that's a big 14 inch version. And then uh, we got this broiler. Uh, pressure cooker from All American Model 930. Anyway, so it's a pretty solid setup. I've been using it for Ultra Vest to autoclave the wax out uh, so that it doesn't turn into black smoke uh, that fills the entire space uh, if I try to burn it out. So here we go. There is about inch and a quarter of water in there. Not very much, so just follow uh, manufacturer instructions for that. And then uh, two ceramic cups from Fred Meyer floating inside. And this is just so that they don't touch water. I don't want the wax to uh, stay inside and be uh, kind of held inside by the water surface. So. That just helps it to separate. And these come out pretty big, so they're gonna be kind of hard to fit, but I think I can do it. For that little arrow over here. And we're gonna start just before that. Push this out to let us close. That. Okay, and we're in. I'm gonna turn it and the arrow aligns and progressively tighten all the bolts. There you go. So we're gonna put this right under the hot plate. And the hot plate is set to high. So there it is. I'm gonna shoot again when the steam starts coming out. We got more steam coming out and uh, you can hear it's cooking inside. The pressure actually never goes very far, so this gauge is useless. This must be for real canning, which I'm not doing. Also, I'm uh, warming up this kiln to vitrify the shells. So that's gonna take a little while. If I do it too fast, it's gonna crack. Also, I wanted to mention this uh, wetted wetting agent has done a really good job of uh, helping me get an even first coat. Now, there's some, there are some issues. Uh, like, there's still a little bit of a sharp edge there that didn't get covered. And uh, right here didn't get covered, but it's pretty minor. Uh, this is way better than my first attempt without the wetting agent. So even though people are saying it's not useful or uh, not necessary, um, I think I really like it. I'm gonna just keep using it from now on. And uh, here it is, by the way. It's kind of like silicone, actually. Uh, when you get it out, it mix it with water. Let's see, I think I have a pre-mixed. Here's what it looks like, kind of like that.
We're getting a little loud here, so I think it's time to turn off the power. All right, the final review. I actually have no idea if these things are still intact in there. I simply use exactly the same timer as I do for Ultra Vest. So well, let's see what's inside. I hope it's just not all pieces. Okay. Yeah, they're completely destroyed. That did not work out. Let's see. I guess one of them is kind of alright. Okay. Well, they're definitely empty. There's no question about that. Man, are they in bad shape. Whew. I might be able to repair this one. Maybe. If I'm lucky. Yeah, so I think we know. I think we know what happened here. Too many synth sprues. Not enough supports. And, um. Yeah, that right there did not survive. I guess I can try to patch it up. Since the problem is only in the sprue and not in the actual model. Which, by the way, has no cracks at all. All the cracks are in the sprues. So I suppose, I suppose there might be a way to make this work. Let's take a closer look at some of these carnage here. So uh, here's a pouring cup from one of these. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Maybe it just needs more coats so the spruce survives? I don't really know. I just thought that this was basically amounts of work, including all the machines that failed. And here the part. The part is actually fairly intact, except for this piece right here. But all the sprues are gone, so I don't think it can be poured anymore. I think that's a bust. I really don't know what else to do with it. I'm gonna break it apart to see what's inside. See how uh, smooth the edges are. Yeah, and then uh, got the little top left over. And all the wax is in there. I'm going to wait until it calms down a little bit so I can move it in one piece. Maybe I overdid it. Maybe I can try a little bit less next time. I don't know. Maybe that's where it was. Let's take a look at these edges. Actually, seems alright. It does have some grain, oh, nope, I don't think it's alright. It's got some grain on here. Let's take a look at this. It looks smooth in there, but here. It's got some grain. right here that actually looks pretty smooth it's got a texture to it but the texture is actually underneath the layer of smoothness so it's just a diffuse kind of uh, color it's actually smooth Alright, so maybe it would have worked. Maybe it would have worked. It's a little more complex. Not a complete wax burnout either. But I think that's what vitrifying was supposed to remove. Unfortunately, it didn't survive to get vitrified. And here's all the sprues.
Maybe just too thin. I noticed the uh, thick screws survived. It's just the thin ones that really couldn't take it. So maybe um, next time we just not use the thin screws and um, not cook them as long. That could be it. I guess the shorter cycle. Why is it reading so low all of a sudden? Oh. oh no, the coils are dead. No, not the coils. Those are half a grand. Oh my god, no. Oh, there's no more coils. The controller is still bumping. Looks like I broke something else.